Hello and merhaba. We are still so excited to be here at the Cross TV. We are new. This is called A New You, Biblical Truth Confirmed by Modern Science. A little bit uh, summary. We just started. This is our second show. My husband said, are you going to say every time this is our third show, this is our fourth show, this is our yeah. fifth show? But we are ex I am very excited. Uh, we, are very <laughs> we are very blessed to be here. A little summary. Uh, we are host and host. Uh, we are husband and wife, okay. meaning okay. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. both hosts. Uh, we're husband and wife for 20 years, met 20 years ago, married 20 years ago, uh, been working for 20 years. Uh, God put us together. All together, it's like... Uh, All Twitter. <laughs> Years. We have uh, <laughs> two boys and a daughter, and um, we didn't know why we are we were together. Why God put us together? We are so opposite, but God has a plan, and this is the plan. We are a team. Uh, what we want to do? We want to bring you a message of health. Our ministry is health and fitness. You know, um, as a Christian. We talk about the spirit, the soul, a lot. And it's very concentrated, the teachings and everything, which is extremely important. But I, we believe that also the vehicle that carries the soul and the spirit has to be in good condition. So that's our message to you. I mean, you can have an amazing spirit, want to uh, follow Jesus. You want to just do a lot of things. You know your purpose. You know everything. And then, but you cannot, you might be sick. You might be depressed. Uh, you are tired. And you need to be an example, a good example. So that's our message. I <laughs> My husband is just listening to me. Yes, he. Oh, of course, I'm. I, I will. I will let him speak. But I do oh, have. I'm not oh, I know you're not worried. No, I know. I have uh, a scripture, uh, but now I added another one. So I'm going to read both, and I'm going to have Tony comment on it and talk about it. Uh, our main scripture for this show is First Corinthians six, verse nineteen and twenty. Or do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Very important. Whom you have from God, you are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body, which everything, inside and outside. It's extremely important. The second verse that I added for today is 1 Corinthians 10, 31. So whatever you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So, very important. Um, I just want to uh, give an example. I'm going to use Tony for that. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, do you have your phone with me? With, with you? you? With you, I'm sorry. I, I'm from Istanbul, Turkey, by the oh, way. Don't be using and that I, I just want to say English is, my for, <laughs> English is my fourth language, so <laughs> I apologize for some mishaps. I'm sorry. So, can you give me your phone for a second? Thank you. Just like my wallet. Just your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's say. Uh, Tony said, hey, um, honey, can you hold on to my phone? Uh, I'll get it. Uh, I get this uh, tomorrow from you. So what I would do, I would say, oh, my God, this is uh, very valuable. I should put it away somewhere. I should hide it or it shouldn't break. I should make sure nobody steals it. It doesn't get lost. And I'll take care of it until he comes back and says, give me my phone back. This is a phone. So what it is, is this is just, you can replace this. You pay the money, you buy a new one. God lends us this body to use it for his purpose. What do we do with it? We're taking care of the phone. We're taking care of the computer, the cars, and all that stuff. Oh, my God. But our body is the vehicle and I, I have to say, it's not replaceable. It's not. So you can have your phone back. Thank you so very much. Thank 
Thank you. So, with my dignity. Yes, that's right. So, um, what do you want to say, honey? Well, um, <laughs> let me get this out. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, what I like to say to you guys uh, is that what Karen is saying is based upon her conviction of what she's been faced with uh, since we've been in this business <clears throat> and since we've been together. Before we were in this business, we were together. Uh, actually, she was doing fitness and I was doing fitness in other areas. But the most important thing and the reason why she's constantly talking about the temple and the body is because she has seen so much in her walk um, with God and with people. And you notice that I want you to understand something and I, and I need you to hear me very clearly. Even though you hear these words like Christian and God and things like that, the most important thing that I want you to understand is that if you truly believe, if you truly believe in all that God has and all that he wants for you, then these things that we're talking about should not be offensive, especially to his own. But it's important that we also give that message to everybody because we were all created in his image. And because we were all created in his image, we all have a gift. We all have a job to do. Basically, our job is to tell everyone to come to repentance for the kingdom of God is at hand. This is the most important thing, but in order to do that, you must be physically fit. The word says endure hardness as a good soldier. We are soldiers in this army, uh, in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because of that, uh, we should not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the basis on why we, should, why we live. So I'm not saying that to be uh, religious in any way, but I'm saying it because this is who we are as people. Uh, as a man that, that had, uh, was given a raw in a raw deal in life, and now as a miracle, I set before you to say that. And in lieu of adding to what Karen was talking about, about the temple and about the phone, when you look at everything and you see the structure of everything that's beautiful, and some things you see, it's, it's in such awe. I mean, it's unbelievable and unimaginable what comes out of our mind. However, if that foundation is not done correctly, if the measurements are not precise, if the cement is not mixed properly, in time, that beautiful thing will crumble in sometimes minutes, and depending on the size of the building or the structure, in seconds. The foundation is what we want to get out today, simply because the foundation is the most ugliest, yes. hideous <laughs> thing that you can ever have, huh, honey? That's right. Kind of like me when I wake up in the morning. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, no. You uh, don't even have hair. So you don't have to do take anything. Me, take me two days to get little seeds. <laughs> but you know. Okay, go back to the subject. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we can get lost. <laughs> so what happens is, is like, if somebody were to come to me and says, hey, Tony, I'm, I'm selling you this slab. I'll go, what do you want me to do with that, man? But in a vision, I can see what I can place on the slab that could be so beautiful. But that slab, even though it's ugly, I have to make sure that there is no cracks in it. I have to get somebody to come out and inspect it to make sure it's good. I remember buying our first home. Uh, God blessed us with our first home after, our, after we were married. Uh, and uh, the first thing we had to do was check the foundation. And I was really kind of curious because when you look, <laughs> if it was cracked and we screwed <laughs> because we had already purchased the home, but we, we, had had, we had to have somebody come out and look at it. And fortunately, there was no, no cracks even though the, the house had been around for a while. But uh, the interesting thing was there was a tree 
uh, that was, I think it was a palm tree, yeah. huh, honey? Mm -hmm. And the palm tree was in the front of the house. It was really beautiful. But what happened was the root of the tree, the tree, uh, the tree was actually uh, not strategically placed uh, where, the, where, the, where the foundation was. Exactly. And the roots of the tree went so deep that it actually infiltrated the, the foundation and it began to affect the plumbing, you know, uh, in the house. And we could see the root just coming straight. I mean, it was absolutely amazing uh, when we saw this, this thing, this root just coming up to the ground. But what that meant in so many words is that that foundation wasn't able to handle the, the stress of life, uh, of longevity. And these are the things that when we talk about health and fitness and wellness, we're talking about those things, longevity. Uh, longevity is important. Wellness is important. Uh, the very word diet, I tell people all the time, diets are so overrated. And I said, if you really think about it, there is a subliminal message in that word diet. The first three letters of that word is what? Die. Exactly. <laughs> so you don't hear that. You just hear diet. And when I ask people about diets or they tell me, well, I'm on a diet, it usually involves reducing the caloric intake in the human body. Whenever you reduce the calories inside the human body, what literally happens is, just like the tree in front of the house, when the storm comes, you won't be able to handle you it. You can't handle it. For example, I'm on a diet. I lost 10 pounds. But you know what? I had to go out of town and had a wedding. Those are storms. So, you know, hey, I have to, you know, I enjoy myself. Oh, now I'm on another diet because that one didn't work. Now, how many people you know constantly goes on these diets? But these diets are constantly bombarded by different storms of life that tries to shake the foundation. Now, what is that foundation? Just like in a slab, it's comprised of different elements. In our lives, there's different elements. The most important element is how we look at ourselves. And how we see ourselves is through our culture. First of all, through our parents and our parents' parents. We become extension of those. Now, the only way we can break the cycle of disease or abuse or anything like that, you have to be willing to do what's necessary to change your life so that you have to change the mixture a little bit so that it's able to weather the storm. So when the storm comes, as so many in your family, in your culture has been bombarded by it, you don't have to be. This is God's grace for us because obedience is something that it's not the most exciting thing to do all the time. It's always good to do something that you want to do, but it's never good to do something you don't want to do. And usually when Karen and I are talking about wellness with people and we talk about their lives, usually, most likely, it's something they don't want to do. They call us and they say, hey, Tony and Karen, we heard about you. We want you to help us. Uh, but this is how I want you to help us. Well, it's almost like saying, God, take my life. But hey, turn left. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> if you, you, when you see yourself in turmoil, you see your foundation is cracking, you're struggling with life. Do the right thing by yourself. Trust God in everything you do. And walk by faith, not by sight. Stop looking at those books, be influenced by television and the media and all this stuff. Look at yourself. And I'm going to close with this. That there's nothing more honest, nothing more honest in your whole entire life than your very mirror, the mirror that you look at. <laughs> do not allow your mind to lie to you and see something else that the mirror is literally telling you. It's like, I can say this because I'm a guy. It's like us guys. And if there's any guys out there that do this, I have done it a million times. Uh -oh. When we're driving along, Karen goes, honey, turn left. I said, oh, I got this. I, got, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Karen just quiet, and I'm driving. Now, in the back of my mind, I know I'm lost. I just don't want to tell her that. <laughs> and so eventually, but what took, what's supposed to take 20 minutes, taking like two hours, and she looks at me. <laughs> I, I don't even remember what she says out there because I, I feel like such a stupid idiot because I should have just listened to the truth. The truth is I was lost. I was lost. I was lost. I was lost. 
And until I was able to admit that and to really believe that, then my change come. And what that change was in that circumstance is, honey, where we're going. Or turn on my GPS system and listen to another woman tell me where to go. <laughs> I know they all, they put women home. Yeah, they they don't. You, you ever notice that they never put a guy on there, because if if we can get lost naturally, hey. I guess so. You know. I <laughs> guess so. But anyway, that's 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 basically that's bas basically in a nutshell what I wanted to share with because you know I think that we people have a misunderstanding of who we are. We're not personal trainers, we're life coaches, and anyone out there who is actually in in the realm of fitness understands that there's a difference between a trainer and a coach. A coach has to literally become the hope of change, but a trainer only has to show you. I used to tell people you train animals, you teach people. And in order to be an effective teacher, you must be an example and you must be able to serve because we are here for you, not for ourselves. Okay, wow, that was very good. good. I thought you were going to talk for five minutes. It's been like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, you know, mm. uh, it, is, it is hard. It is really hard. A diet, well, like he was saying, a diet is extremely easy because there is a start and there is an end. Mm -hmm. But changing your lifestyle is extremely hard. And you said about, mm. uh, it, because I am so, I am, you know, I read the Bible. I uh, have time with God every morning. I try, I pray everything. But... M I do not memorize uh, like Tony does. So you just said about the soldier. Endure hardness. Endure hardness. As a good soldier. As a good soldier. Yeah. A soldier is strong. Mm -hmm. And life is hard. It's a war. It is a war. Every day you wake up, it's something will happen that you have not planned. So when they tell you, Oh, get rid of stress, lower the stress, and do this, do that. That's just not, you can't do that. That's just impossible. But what you can do is you can become like a soldier, meaning you can be strong to endure what your day and your life brings. And you know what, though, too, honey? Yes. For those who don't know, a soldier oh, also yeah, has that's a right, leader. Were, exactly. You see, and our leader is God. That's right. Exactly. So unless, if you want to be in the army, you've got to take care of all of your equipment or else it will not work in the face of battle. Very good. You are, you were a soldier. Nine years. Nine I, years. I so yeah. I'm just imagining a soldier <laughs> so he knows much better in detail. So we have to be strong. We have to take care of this body. I was telling last, last uh, time, last show, I said, you know, we take care of, um, this could be a church building, a mosque, a temple, they're beautiful, they get cleaned every day, we respect it, we keep it all nice and everything, we will, we will dare to throw trash on the floor, we will respect, but how come with our body? So that's what's important. But our tagline has always been, change your life, change, change your, your health. health. <laughs> but change your life is extremely difficult. Yeah. So what are they? It's not only food, but food is important. So we have four things. Just think of a table, four legs. Uh, one is nutrition. The other one is your exercise. The other one is your sleep, extremely important, very interesting, nobody talks about it, and your emotional well-being. So it's four pillars. It's like four legs of a table. We have a table right in front of us. And if, let's say, one of the leg of the table, it's a little bit shorter than the other one, it starts wobbling. Okay, it'll do its job, but not as well, you'll be annoyed. The second leg is kind of short, and then it really is not going to do its job. So automatically, it becomes useless. So that is why lifestyle change is extremely difficult. I always tell people, I do holistic nutrition. I deal with people with, Ill, uh, people with illnesses, depressed, tired, all that. And I just always tell them, 
Take the food pro program or the lifestyle program in front of you. Look at it. If you can do this until you die, then apply it. But if you look at it, you go, you know what? I can do this for two weeks, and then I'm not going to be able to continue. Put it away. Yeah. Because first, you cannot continue. It means it's not good, good for you. you. It's just not possible to go hungry or whatever. And, and if it doesn't teach you anything, what's the use if you're going to go back to your old life yeah. that already caused the problem? Exactly. Right? Yeah. And, you, you know, honey, you, you make a lot of sense. Do I? Saying. Yeah, you do. You, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. But, you know, in, in, spite, you in, know, lieu of, in lieu of time. <laughs> can I just say something? Okay. Do you know why he uh, loves this? Because we lived in Turkey uh, just recently for seven years. I'm from Istanbul, Turkey. All my life, that's where I live. And we went back to Istanbul for seven years with our kids. So he didn't speak Turkish and he did not learn Turkish a few words so every time I spoke he did not really understand now he understands what I'm saying and he can listen and hear he's just so amazed <laughs> wow. wow no it's uh, we are so happy uh, to be able to yeah. get this message out to the yeah. world God heard our prayers yeah so what, what we want to do though is uh, in the interest of time we want to let everyone know um, that oh, yeah, that's right. what we're going to be doing uh, from this point on, you're going to see a lot of different things from uh, recipes. You're going to see exercise. We're going to do kids, uh, kids wellness. We're going to we're going to talk about prenatal, postnatal. We're going to talk about teens and athletes and collegiate, whether they're collegiate, professional, uh, or amateur athletes. We're going to have a whole lot of fun, uh, but we wanted to take this time and have you meet us where we are and this is what you get okay so I want you to remember again to change your life then you change your health and stay tuned for our next show show surprise, which is surprise. what is that title a new year new biblical Bibli 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 biblical truth biblical confirmed, truth by, modern confirmed by modern science good yeah. job honey yeah.